Hey guys, it's me, Clone Trooper X39 here, doing another LEGO Star Wars 2015 set review on the Geonosis Trooper Battle Pack. Now this is ages 6 through 12, set number is 75089, comes with 105 pieces, and let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to take a look at the walker itself. Now this definitely reminds me of the ATRT Battle Pack back in 2008. And I have to say, it is pretty freaking awesome that they brought this style of battle pack back. Now, a lot of you may know that when you buy a battle pack, you're really buying it for the figures, which is true in this case, but even though this isn't the coolest looking one, like as in a set, you definitely get some awesome minifigures, and I'll be going over those next. But this has some pretty awesome pieces, so if you don't like it, which I'm not a complete fan of, you can definitely just part it out and use the pieces individually. Now one of the big features the LEGO group is focusing on is playability and this definitely has that. So as you can see here on the front you have a cool new six shooter. Now the way this works is all you do is rotate this in the back. Now it actually shoots okay, you can shoot it pretty fast and those just flew all over my table on the ground and everything so that's one reason the LEGO group sends you a bunch of extras. There's probably 10 extra of the little transparent dark blue studs. And you also can use those extras for the minifigures, flick fire guns or whatever you want to call them. But overall that's definitely cool. And the way you reload it is you just take a stud and put it in backwards like that. And you can just do that. There's two in there. So boom, boom. It actually is really cool. Now I have to say if I was you know, seven or eight years old and I got this and I knew I could do that, that is pretty awesome. So good part on the Lego move, but for, you know, when you're this age, you don't really care about that, you care about the pieces. But other than that, great little set. You can set too many figures up there. You have an antenna there, which is cool to see in black. I, actually, that might be a new element in that color. You can also take your minifigures weapons and stick them here on this little post there so you can have the driver without a weapon and the guy in the back with weapon and you know you can simply just put the minifigures in like that nothing too special there but other than that you know full articulation there with the legs pretty awesome so let's get into the minifigures themselves so as you can see here we get the standard Geonosis clone trooper now this is a pretty awesome minifigure it features the new dark orange color it's actually I feel a mix it might be just medium flesh because a dark orange, I know for sure, is, for example, this color right here on the Hailfire droid. So I do believe this is a medium flesh color, which is actually pretty interesting that the LEGO group decided to make full minifigure parts in this color. But, as you can see, no arm printing like usual, no back helmet printing. You do get back torso printing there with some camo pouches, pretty standard. And there actually is, I believe that's a reddish-brown hip piece that's printed with camo. You get just black hands, you get the fully functional Lego weapon here that shoots the stud out. That's pretty common. You just press down on the little dark gray tab and the stud shoots out. Then on the helmet you get a pretty standard design. It's actually pretty much the same as the regular clone trooper except you get the camo. It's really similar to the Kashyyyk um, clone trooper in the battle pack there. But as we take off the helmet there you get kind of a open face there with an open smile, kind of a grin. But other than that, pretty awesome minifigure. Now you do get two of these in this set, which is really awesome. I definitely think this one is really cool. So let's get on to the Airborne Trooper. Okay, so now onto the Geonosis Airborne Trooper. Now this is a, definitely my favorite figure out of the two. Now once again, you get two of these in the set. You also get the stud shooting weapon, as well as an extra stud or two. Now, Definitely awesome helmet printing there. Again, no arm printing, no side leg printing, back leg printing, back torso printing though with the little strap there. Now here's a good look at the front of the minifigure with all the printing. You get the pretty much standard helmet print except for the camo is changed to a kind of desert camo for Geonosis. Very similar to the Kashyyyk clone trooper that had a different color scheme but very similar. Now. Just standard black hands, once again, medium flesh colored body parts, except for the hands, which are black. And then you got the printing here on the legs and on the torso. So definitely a really cool minifigure. I definitely have to say this one's my favorite of the two. 
Here's a look at the head here. You just got a standard face, different from the regular clone trooper in this battle pack. So let's get on to the box. Okay, so here is the box. Now it's a standard battle pack size box. You can see Leo Star Wars, the set number, and all that information. It does advertise the new six shooter, which I think is pretty cool. They got a cool little art image there. And then on the back, once again, advertising that six shooter. And as you see there, it does show that you do get the extras. Now, 20 of them, I don't believe you actually get that. I'm just counting those out and I don't, I feel like that's inaccurate, but I might, I may be wrong. Um, again, advertising that. Um, other than that, really cool images. Definitely cool little box. So let's move on to the extra pieces. Now you do get some extra pieces with this set. Besides the little studs, you do get some cool pieces here. Now, as you can see here, you get a little 1x2 light blue scrape panel. You get a Technics pen, which is pretty common in sets like this. A little Technic spacer. And then you get an extra little... I don't know what you call this, but it's for the weapons of the minifigures. Then you get a cool dark orange slope, which is actually pretty cool. Then you get a little one by one dark blue gray modified plate. So that is it for my review of this set. Here are the instructions. I guess I will just show you those real quick. Nothing too special about them. Pretty small. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And my next set review will either be on the new AAT or the... Stormtrooper Battle Pack. So let me know in the comments below which one you rather see first, and I'll be posting that tomorrow. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and share this video. Comment down below your feedback, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another LEGO Star Wars set review.